Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool shader pack today. This shader pack is called the Mr. Meep Shaders and it is really awesome. The actual creator sent me a message on YouTube to come check it out and it is completely different from the previous shader packs I have been showing you guys such as the Sildur Shaders and the Cell Shaders and the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders because this shaders is a lot more powerful in my opinion. As you guys can see, it looks a little bit more cinematic. I mean, not a little bit, it's a lot. And look, I have a player over here, so just to show you guys that this does work for multiplayer when you install a shaders mod or shader pack, then it is gonna work for multiplayer. I have Remix Tentails! What's up, Jose? Not much, just oh! ready to blow up this entire place. Oh man, he's gonna blow up this whole entire place because he built it. I really I'm just am. kidding. He, didn't, he did not build this. We found this on Planet Minecraft. I'm gonna provide the download link for this. It's a castle. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks outside. So how about we go outside and talk a little bit about this shaders pack. So you will probably lag when you install the shaders pack because it does so much. I'm barely in normal render distance and I'm playing on fancy far. Not well, I mean normal. Fancy normal, something like that. And look at this castle. As you guys can see, it looks a lot more cinematic. If I would happen to go to Escape, go here to Options, go to Shader Packs, I could switch over to the Cylinder Shaders Pack, and you guys will notice that it will drop in a lot. You know, like, it's not going to look cinematic anymore. So if I click on Cylinders, put Done, Done, go back to the game, it looks plain. It looks a lot more different. It looks like normal Minecraft, but just a little bit more brighter. But if I go back to the actual shaders that we're reviewing today, Mr. Meeps, you'll see that everything looks a lot more darker, you know, a lot more detailed. It looks kind of cinematic in a way. And look at those two swords over there. I don't know the background of this castle. We just downloaded and installed it. And there is some reflections. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this. The sun's over there. So beautiful. And you guys could see a reflection in the water. So look at that. I never seen such a, an amazing thing. You know, there was a uh, I'm not sure if the other shader packs does it. Let's go ahead and press escape, go here to options and see what shader packs can do the same exact thing. So here's cell shaders. Cell shaders doesn't really do that. You know, there's no reflections. It's not really uh it doesn't have that cinematic feel. Let's go to Silders. Let's see if Silders has it. Guess what? Silders doesn't really have it. The only thing Silders does have is they have the waves, but the 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 Mr. Meeps waves are a lot more a lot more higher as you guys can see it looks more like waves there's a reflection from the Sun up there and there is wavy leaves look at this as you guys can see there is wavy leaves and wavy grass so let's look at the water once again look at this you could actually see waves in normal Minecraft vanilla there is no waves there's none of this stuff it's just regular plain old Minecraft and this looks super cinematic guys so it is best for showing off world, it's best for machinimas if you guys want to like start a little story, you know like the tales of pork chop, you know, tell yourself a story. You can make this into like a really cool cinematic thing, you know, look at this. Look at the, you can see the lights coming through the leaves. This is so beautiful. I'm just amazed by shaders, you know, shaders just change so much of Minecraft. It feels, it gives a different feeling of Minecraft. Look at this. The sunset is pouring in and you guys can see that it, you can see the light just hitting the tree, the bark, their shadows, and there's a lot of cool things. Look, the, re the reflection off the water, it's really good. What do you think about this shaders pack? Because you do have it installed. Jose, what do you think about this? It's going to be freaking lovely oh, when dude, I start look, using different dude, resource packs. look how it looks when we're looking at Jose. You see this? He looks a lot more 3D as if this is Cinema 4D. You could just take a picture of him and he looks like he's in a some sort of Cinema 4D, you know, some sort of animation that we're making here. It looks really cool. And especially for resource packs if you go jumping from one to the other. Oh yeah, dude. If you if you have a special resource pack, you know, it's going to make everything look way better. Right now, what I'm using is just default Minecraft. What you're seeing right here is just default Minecraft texture, nothing fancy, but if you have something like Sfax texture pack, it's probably going to look a lot more better in, you know, if in your opinion, you know, it's just all up to you, whatever you like. So let's go ahead and check out the moon, how the moon looks while in this special shaders. It does get really dark. Uh, I don't really like playing Minecraft in super, super, super dark, but for some reason, this shaders does have really, really dark nights. So it's pretty cool if you guys want to have like a spookier uh, adventure, you know, during the nighttime. So let's go ahead and switch over to nighttime. If I know the command time set 18, let's go 1900, all right? Let's go there and you guys can see that everything looks to be very dark in the forest. Look at that, you can't see anything. But if you look at the castle, it's really bright, really fancy, and it kind of looks like realistic lights coming from the actual castle itself. And look, there's some leaves over here, some uh, some farming going on right here. This is pretty cool. Look at the, these things are actually waving. The, the wheats, they're actually waving. That's super cool. The, the flowers, the flowers are waving. Jose. 
I see it. The flowers, man. I see the it. The flowers. I don't like that. So I went ahead and put together a little small demo spotlight of a world, or actually it's like a small terrain, uh, just for you guys to see how it looks. If you would happen to use this in a machinima to show off some sort of building, I went ahead and put together some clips for you to see how it'll look with some fancy music. So let's go ahead and test out that little clip that I made for you guys, just to see if it might interest you guys of using the shaders, because it's pretty epic. Alright guys, so that is basically it about Mr. Meep Shaders, it is an awesome shader pack, this is all that it adds in, it just adds in the shaders, it adds in this fancy graphics, you know in my opinion I wouldn't really use this in single player because it's not really my taste, I'd rather just play regular vanilla Minecraft or use uh, some other shaders, this is best for cinematic, you know, intros, cinematic videos, and all that great stuff, you see if I could break this right here with the pickaxe, you know, it's gonna take some time for me to get used to all this fancy graphics and stuff. I'm just so used to vanilla Minecraft. I'm not really into the epic shaders like this. This is pretty epic anyways. So let's go ahead and blow up some TNT! Let's do this! I wanna see how this... Jose! What? Did it activate? I, oh my it god, should dude, have activated. Dude, dude, someone here does not work. Oh! Dude, dude, run, run, run! <laughs> Alright, I was gonna say, someone here does not know how to set up... Oh my oh, god, oh. look how explosions look! Look how explosions look with the shaders. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, someone does not know how to use redstone wiring when it comes down to TNT. I told you, I'm not good with redstone. Dude, you you didn't <laughs> even put the redstone on the TNT. You just put down the torch. Yeah, Anyways, dude. guys, uh, if you guys want to check out Remix Tentel's channel, I would recommend you guys go to go check it out. He's actually my cousin. If you guys didn't already know, uh, yeah, he's my cousin. No, dude, you're gonna kill me. More explosions. Stop. Stop. He's worse than me. No, dude, dude. <laughs> it my has to my blow. castle. Everything has to be exploded. Anyways, this guy right here, Remix Tentails, does uh, shader pack review. Not shader pack review. What am I talking about? This guy does resource pack reviews. So, you know, texture packs for Minecraft. He shows you all of the latest and greatest texture packs. So, go check out his channel. Links in description. Uh, you're about to hit, what, 6,500 subscribers? Dude. I, I should. Dude. Party. Yeah. Drop I know, three. right? Drop a three. Not just kidding. Party at Steven's house. <laughs> drop a three. Drop a three. Not just kidding. Just drop a three. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out his channel. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new to this channel, of course. And uh, hit that like button if you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more shader packs. But if you guys are interested in this mod, you guys want to know how to install this mod? Well then, let's go ahead and see how to install this mod. Are you ready, Jose? Let's install yes, I'm ready. It. I think they're ready. <laughs> I think they're ready. <laughs> let's install it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and install these mods. So it's really easy to install a shader pack. It's not really the hardest thing to do. Uh, let me check my mic. Alright, it seems to be working. So what we're going to do first is you're going to go ahead and get all the downloads listed in the description or click on the annotation above this video where it says download these mods. And what you're going to get is the Minecraft Forge installer. You're going to get the Shaders Mod Core, which is 1.6.2, and it should come out as a jar and you're gonna get the desire shader packs that you want so if you guys check out the forum there is different versions available depending on what you know what time you're watching this video so just in case you're watching this video from like a year ago or you know whatever then be sure to get the latest version download from the forum so anyways if you scroll all the way down it should say right here downloads and you'll go all the way to the bottom and download version 2 or you could just go to my website and get the latest version for 1.6.2 Anyways, let's go ahead and install these mods. Here's the shader we're going to be installing, which is Mr. Meeps. And let's go ahead and begin this. What you're going to do is, in the new Minecraft launcher, you're going to run Minecraft at least once to log into your user and make yourself a profile. So make sure you have ran Minecraft at least once. Once you have already done that, then let's go ahead and install Minecraft Forge installer. Double click this application, and right away it's going to open up this window which says Mod System Installer. Once it says that, you know, it's good to go. You know, you have Minecraft Forge open up. This is the window. You're going to click here on Install Client. Go ahead and press OK. 
Once you have pressed OK, you're going to get this complete message and go ahead and press OK after that. And you have successfully installed Minecraft Forge installer. Now let's go ahead and install these mods and the forge. I mean, let's go ahead and install these mods and the shaders. All right, so what we're going to do is go to the bottom left corner of our screen, which is uh, right here, start. And you're going to search in percent app. So percent app data percent. There we go. So percent app data percent. And up here, you're going to see roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see DOM Minecraft in the very top. You're going to go into the DOM Minecraft folder. You're going to see assets, configs, libraries, all that other stuff. What you're going to do is make yourself a new folder in your DOM Minecraft folder and call it mods. So make yourself a new folder and call it mods, MODS, and press enter. So now that we have made the mods folder, it should be right here, mods. Open that up. So what you're going to do is simply drag over the shader cores right into that mods folder. As you could see, it says shader mod core version 2.0.1 and that is it. So that is available for the mods uh, folder. So all you have to do is just drag that in there. So now let's go ahead and install a shader pack. In order to do that, you're just going to backspace at least once to return to the dot Minecraft folder. And you're going to make yourself a new folder and call it shader packs. Let me go ahead and delete this for you. So I'm going to make myself a new folder in the dot Minecraft folder and call it shader packs. Make sure you spelled everything correctly all together. So now that I have bleh. so now that you have made the shaders packs folder, go ahead and go into there and you're going to open up this Mr. Meep shaders. Double click that and you're going to see right here shaders. All you have to do is simply drag over the files that is inside the shaders into your shader packs. So there you go. That is basically it and how to install the actual shaders. What you could do is actually rename the shaders to something else. Because if you're going to be installing multiple shader packs, you could rename this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this and just call it uh, Mr. Meep. You know, I if you want to, you know, it depends if you're going to install more shader packs. So once you have in, you know installed it, place the shader folder into the shader packs folder that you created, then you should be able to launch Minecraft. And what you're going to do is log into your user. You're going to see right here, profile, and make sure it says Forge. So once you uh, select on the profile at the bottom left corner where it says Forge, go ahead and press play. Log into your user, and you should be able to load up the actual shaders. So now that I have logged into Minecraft 1.6.2, you're going to see right here, mods have been loaded. Go here to mods, and you can see GLSL shaders. What you do is go into any world you want, such as the castle. And once you are here, go ahead and press escape. Go here to options, shaders, and click on Mr. Meep. The name of the, the, name of the uh, what is it called? It's the name of the shaders, or it's the name of of uh, the, the folder you named it. So there you go. I have successfully installed the shaders, and that is basically it. So all you have to do is go here to options, shaders, click on the actual shaders, and press done. That is it, and it should be able to work. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it was really fun making these mod reviews. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.